Hello, guys, and good morning. This is Roger Wakefield, the expert plumber, coming to you this morning to talk about will water heaters freeze? Now, being at Texas Green Plumbing and right here in the North Texas area, that's not a lot of problems that we have around here. But I want to go ahead and talk about it anyway, because that's something that nationwide tends to be a pretty popular question. So we have had it happen here. But, but let's start off. Older water heaters. Water heaters that were made before April 16th, 2015 have thinner insulation. Now, it takes a lot for a water heater to freeze. It, it takes a, a very low temperature for a very long time, and it also takes no movement. So that means there can't be anybody using any hot water in the house because anytime you create that movement, that kicks on the water heater and makes it reheat up and do different things. Now, water heaters built after April 16th, 2015, actually have thicker insulation. There's a, a new code uh, or, or new standards that went into effect, and actually being down at American Standard and going through their plant and going through the tour of their facility, watching these things be made and how they do it and, and the quality control that they put these through, I, I was really fascinated, not just by how they do it, but actually by how thick that insulation is and, and the quality of the insulation. So older water heaters as possible, it, they were a little bit thinner on the insulation, to be honest, you would probably have to have an unoccupied house. The water would have to get very cold for a long time in, in order to freeze that water heater and, and, and cause any problems. Now, like I said, it, it's uncommon here in Texas. And if you go through some preventative measures, you can make sure that that, that doesn't happen. Now, it's not really the water heater down here that we have to worry about. Down here, what we have to worry about is the supply lines, the hot and cold lines coming in and out of the water here. Now, a lot of cities have it in their code that that line is supposed to be insulated down to within six inches of the top of the water heater. Now, on an electric water heater, you can actually go a little bit lower, but on a gas water heater, you wanna stop six inches above because you don't want down where your, your flue pipe comes out or, or joins your water heater because it can get very hot down there and you'll just melt the insulation. So preventative measures can, can do a lot. Now, if you know that your water heater is out in the garage and you know it gets real cold down there, I've got a faucet in the house that's on an exterior wall that I like to let drip when it gets down that cold just to make sure of it because that's going to keep water moving through the water heater. I, I do put it dead center between the hot and cold, make sure I get a little bit through both. So what that does, that keeps water moving. It's not much, but it's just enough to keep it moving. Guys, moving water won't freeze up here unless it just got horribly, horribly cold. And luckily, we don't have that problem in our area. Now, another thing is talk to your plumber. If you're really worried about your water heater freezing, they make insulation jackets you can put around the outside of the water heater. We normally don't put those on down here, but they, they say that it will help increase the efficiency of your water heater. I'll tell you what, with, with the amount of insulation that's on a water heater when they're built, that the efficiency rating is coming up on a regular basis. That's why I said April 16th, 2015, increase that efficiency rating. Now, the thing to remember, too, is it may have made the water heater bigger on the one that replaces what you're trying to replace. So you need to may need to look at how big your opening is before you change your water heater out to make sure that you're not going to have to change that opening, too. So talk to your plumber uh, about the insulation and the jacket. If you're really worried about it, that's a possibility. Guys, if it's up in an attic, that's when I would be really worried about it, especially the lines, the hot and cold lines supplying and leading away from your water heater. The supply lines, the copper lines, the water lines, those are what I would be worried about freezing more than anything else. The tank itself, I'm not as worried about it. Like I said, here in North Texas, it doesn't quite get that cold for that long to where it, it's normally that big of a concern. But say you do get a freeze, say that, say you went out of town in the winter, you went skiing, you turn the water off to your house. You know, what I would tell you to do is, is come back and inspect your water heater before you just turn it back on. D is your water heater misshapen any? Is it swollen in the middle? Does it look like maybe it expanded and contracted? That would be a bad sign and, and, and be something I'd wanna talk about is look, look down in your drain pan. Is there any water in there? 
you want to make sure that that water heater is not leaking before you turn it back on. Last thing you want to do is turn that water on, put enough pressure in it to make it bust or anything. And, and another thing is just overall appearance. You know, do, do you see any water, not just in the pan, but maybe around the, the base of the water heater where the bottom plate is or even where the top plate is? Do you see any water around the TMP valve, the anode rod, the, the dielectric unions on the hot and cold side? So there's different things to look at, different things to think about. Will water heaters freeze? Absolutely. Is it likely? Normally not. It can happen. But if you do things right, you inspect things, you check things, just like anything else. You know, I know it's out of sight and it's out of mind, but every now and then go up there and look at it. That could actually save you thousands of dollars in case you do have a leak. And again, guys, if you're not sure, if you are not sure if, it, if it's misshapen, if you're not sure that the water down there is from the water heater or maybe it rained recently, and you don't have a good seal around your flu pipe vent, there could be a lot of different things. Guys, at that point, I recommend calling a plumber, talking to him, having him come out and look at it. If you're not sure, don't make a mistake. It could cost you thousands of dollars. Guys, I love doing these videos. I hope y'all are enjoying them. If you are, please hit the subscribe button. Let yourself know when we put new videos out and get the updates on them. We put videos out about different things three times a week. We love what we do and we're having fun, fun with this. So it really is a big deal to us and we do hope you enjoy it. It's the red button, like the red shirt. Come on guys, click the button, tell your friends about it, share it, help me get the information out there. I try to tell people and help people with plumbing things that they can do for free. My name's Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.